Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, modern medicine really has come a long way. Just a hundred years ago, infant mortality was common among households. Now today we're talking about the first head transplant. Today we're going through our virtual filing cabinets and picking out the top 10 weird medical images from history. Number 10. Leonid Rogozov One thing about going on wild expeditions you don't think about is what if the doctor who came with you is the one who needs medical attention? In the case of this Antarctic expedition in 1961, the only surgeon who came got appendicitis and needed surgery. So what did he do? He performed surgery on himself, of course. The only help he had was from a driver and a meteorologist, both just providing Rogosov with his instruments and a mirror so he could see what he was doing. They used 0.5% Novocaine for local anesthesia, and he finished the operation in two hours, with many pauses in between to fight nausea. During the operation, he accidentally cut his cecum, a pouch on the large intestine, but was able to successfully suture it. Number 9. Triple Amputee This man's photo is shocking for a variety of reasons. First and foremost is the fact that he's missing three extremities after a railroad car crushed him. Second, it was only the second successful amputation in the history of the United States. Lastly, this man was only 32 years old, despite looking much older. But then again, he was most likely past middle age for the time. Number 8. Vitamin D Before Flintstone vitamins, there were ultraviolet light baths that children would take together to avoid vitamin D deficiency. The human body does not automatically synthesize its own vitamin D. We have to rely on outside sources, like the sun, to stimulate our bodies to start the process in the skin. In countries with limited sunlight during winter, this creates vast amounts of vitamin D deficiency. To battle it, doctors would put people in light baths, especially children, seen in medical photos from the time. Number 7. Smoking as a Cure it wasn't that long ago that smoking wasn't seen as being that bad for you. In fact, if you look at this ad, was often sold as a cure. Talk about false advertising. This image sells cigarettes to those with asthma, throat issues, and other problems that it was probably causing in the first place. To add, a little nugget at the end tells you it's not recommended for children under six. Times sure have changed, haven't they? Number 6. Cutaneous Porphyria This medical disorder causes blisters, swelling, necrosis of the skin, and excessive hair growth. Perhaps even weirder, it can cause red-colored teeth and fingernails, and after exposure to the sun, urine can turn purple or black. For those privy to mythology, you can probably draw the link to, you guessed it, werewolves. It's believed that this disease might be responsible for werewolf legends of the past, where a sufferer might have been confused as a monster and cast from society. The disease gets its name from the Greek word porphyra, which means purple pigment. Number 5. A Cosmic Bruise At first glance, this woman seems to have a common, albeit very big, bruise. The woman is Anne Hodges, and as far as we know, she's the only person in history to be struck by a meteorite. Quite hard, it appears. Her physician, Moody Jacobs, is seen in the photo documenting the bruise for the history books. Number 4. A Wiener Ambulance Despite what you're probably thinking, no, it was just a regular ambulance, albeit a very bare-bones and borderline torturous one compared to today's standards. This was known as a Wiener Ambulance. Its main job was to just stuff people in like sardines to take to a nearby hospital. Very little to no procedural work could be done on these horse-drawn carriages. This image in particular was taken in 1881 and showcases members of the Viennese Voluntary Rescue Society. Number 3. Fetus in Fetu This is the photo of an incredibly rare disorder in which one twin becomes connected to the other, whether internally or externally. In this case, Sanju Bagat's twin attached internally while still in the womb, and he carried them into his 30s. Since he had no placenta, the twin attached to his own blood supply. The twin did not survive, despite being delivered and severely malformed. 
The reason why most of these twins aren't removed until later in life is because they're usually not detected until they're large like sand Jews, at first often thought to be cancer or cysts. Number two, stretch machines. The literal lengths people will go not to be short are shocking. From breaking people's legs to trying to stretch their necks, it's unbelievable how stark of an aversion our society has to short people, specifically to short men. This apparatus was once said to help you grow several inches. In the photo, Post Office Department Inspector D.F. Angier, seen on the machine, and Dr. L.F. Kebler, formerly of the FDA, tried out the device that claimed high success, promising as much as six extra inches. Hopefully, it didn't get all the way to the FDA approval. Number one, Proteus syndrome. Only 200 cases have been confirmed worldwide since the disease was officially discovered in 1979, the 120 of which are still alive. Joseph Merrick, also known as the Elephant Man, is probably the story some of us have heard of, who died at the age of 27. An estimated 20% of those with Proteus will die as infants, and depending on the severity of the condition, most will live to their 20s or 30s. The disease causes excessive bone and skin growth and frequently produces tumors. The case of the Elephant Man was so popular, it even fascinated the late Michael Jackson, who reportedly bid over $1 million for his skeleton. Thanks for watching. We make no bones about it. We'd love to read your comments about these and perhaps other strange medical images from history. And we're not blowing smoke up your backside. Yep, that was a real thing in medical history. When we sincerely say we'd love for you to subscribe, click the bell, and give this video a like. What? Yeah, it was a real thing. For some people, it was the only way to inflate their ego. But don't try this at home. Just saying.